What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I want to play a clip from a recent live that I did where I go over all the criteria to assess whether a guy is a good pickup artist and also whether a guy is a legitimate dating coach that you can trust and whose advice is worth listening to, okay, which is important before you dive down a rabbit hole of digesting endless content from someone. Okay, So that will give a good explanation of that. And before we continue, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every single day. And also, if you want to master the game very fast, this will be my absolute final last week on the calls. I'm transitioning those over the two guys on the phone. We had a little uh, transition process happening. This will be my final week taking those calls before other guys are taking them. So please do not delay. Jump on a free 30-minute call with me personally, last chance. And I will show you how I can get you very good very fast in as little as eight weeks, okay? I'll walk you through whatever custom situation you're at, how to hit your goals and clear away your weaknesses and fast track you to an advanced optimized skill level that you can deploy for the rest of your life, okay? So let's jump in to the criteria for judging if a coach and pickup artist is legitimate. Watch how a guy carries himself. I can size a guy up in about five seconds, okay? Mm -hmm. Watch Corey Wayne for five seconds. Watch Modern Life Dating for five seconds. It, and then, of course, you know, the standard stuff of receipts, infields, et cetera. It, no one's faking hundreds of hours of infield. It, oh, it can be faked. It can be, no one's doing that. Okay, I don't know anyone that's, that's gone on these elaborate projects to fake hundreds of hours <laughs> of infield or have, you know, hundreds or thousands of hookers in, in hookup situations. It's just absolutely absurd when people try to claim that stuff. So first of all, they need they need to have full length polls on camera. I made a video with the the Modern Life Dating versus John Anthony Lifestyle here. Let me I'll show you guys really quickly. I gotta fuck, there's a chick coming soon, and uh, let me show you guys something though. This is I put out a criteria because Modern Life Dating has zero proof of anything of any skills or results, and I have endless amounts. And so I put out a thing that should be used as a criteria for judging any coach. So the question is, how can you tell if a company is a real deal or not? You can fake test models and fields, et cetera. This is what I put out as a criterion for judging any pickup artist and any, um, what's it called? Any coach, okay? Infield footage, especially full length polls, which I just broke down in full. Demonstrating solid game on hidden cameras is the best way to display credibility. Okay, I have hundreds of infield inter interactions. Modern Life Dating has zero. And same with the last of these coaches. Um, also showcasing polls, not just any infield, right? Like simple pickup was showing shitty number closes uh, with ugly chicks, which I responded to and made like a video of getting 75 phone numbers in two hours, showing that a number close is dumb. It is very easy. Um, the most powerful footage, okay, showing full, full length polls. So 100 plus polls. Uh, does he have footage taking girls home from night game? I do. He doesn't. Does he have footage taking girls home from day game? I do. He doesn't. Uh, I have 20 dates. I have more, but I have like 20 dates in my, in my products. Um, let's see D student infields. I have student infields of, of guys pulling from start to finish. I don't, I don't see anyone else putting that shit out. Uh, does the coach have other achievements? I demonstrate every aspect of the game in infield. Okay. Next criteria. Um, lots of photos with girls, especially in bedroom situations. So, oops. Okay. So you can't film the sex acts, but I have hundreds of pictures like this with the girls in the apartments, um, with the girls, I was posting like a, a different girl every couple of days on Instagram, on my old Instagram, I post, posted like two or 300 in a row. It got mass reported by RST minions and taken down, but I'm restarting a new Instagram. Actually, that's something I'm doing this week. I have endless pictures, endless proof. So showing pictures and hookup situations, not just pictures out in public with a girl, because anyone can just walk up to a girl and take a picture, but actually in clearly hookup situations, that's very convincing, okay? Pictures uh, in a guy's apartment or house, okay? That, you know, if, if she's fully clothed, that still shows she made it to your house and probably hooked up. Um, and then, you know, showcasing physicality, makeout, et cetera. Okay, what's next? Client testimonials, especially with extreme results. I have tons of client testimonials where the guy did over 100 in a year, where he got his full package girlfriend quickly, where he built a big stunner rotation. Uh, one to six ladies in one and a half weeks in threesome, a wheelchair virgin point twice in my program on camera. Building rotations quickly, multiple virgin, virgins losing their virginity within one week. 
Um, consistent proof of guys permanently fixing the problem. Lots of guys get five to 10 dates a week shortly after beginning training. This is the kind of stuff you need to be looking for, okay? Other praise um, where, where guys fucked, you know, you know, didn't get anywhere with these other coaches and then got far with my stuff. Advanced guys, incredible guys vouching for him. For those of you that haven't seen it yet, I have a video called Proof for Sleeping with a Thousand Girls. Just type like in the, if you search within my videos, just type like the number 1,000. And I have a video over an hour long where it has all these advanced guys vouching for me. Like the, the guy that had the highest field report view count thread in RST Nation, he spent time with me and watched me absolutely destroy. He chronicles all of it. I have a lot of other advanced guys that have seen all this shit. I, I went and visited Alex from Playing With Fire. He said I banged like 11 or 12 girls in the three or four days I was staying with him. And, and, I, and I consistently show that. Bulldog Mindset saw it randomly in Vegas. I'm usually doing very well when guys see me in the game. I even have screenshots of the RSD coaches praising me. Todd, I just showed him my latest Todd video. I showed a screenshot of Todd saying in the old RST forum, j Malv is very, very good. That's one of the ma uh, many reasons we brought him on as an instructor assistant. And that was only when I was at like 130 count. That's a joke. I did more than 130 in the past year. That was in, in uh, fall of 2012. So uh, let's see. Uh, all the best guys, most respected guys, the community and forums vouch for me more so than anyone else. And, and what a surprise. I have tons of other proof even without their fucking approval. Um, these other guys don't. They, they vouch for each other, but they're all part of the f whole fucking scam, same network. Um, even more powerful when these guys see firsthand proof, like actually closing chicks. Time in the game and time coaching. Um, I already just put in the chat here my field reports where I went from 114 to 155. And I have my first field report listed out from February 24th, 2009, which is like 12 years ago. Okay. Modern Life Dating was selling medical devices less than three years ago, driving cabs, teaching English. Okay. I, I ran my first boot camp over 10 years ago. I have proof of that. Um, so a lot of these guys that, that popped up out of nowhere, you know, and here's here's MLD's track record. I was coaching pickup the past decade. Marketing company, Airbnb company, selling fucking medical devices. Okay, what a surprise. The guy that copied like seven different people's products has no, no fucking credentials in the game. Hey, but he's going to make slander videos on me. Uh, let's see. For those of you that don't know what the fuck's going on here, I'm showing Criterion for how to... I mean, basically, this is what you need to look for in a coach or any pickup artist. Where's your infield footage? Where's your receipts and photos with girls? Where's your testimonials? What proven advanced guys are vouching for you? And, you know, I just said it specifically to Modern Life Dating. If you, you know, you were just selling medical devices at the time that I was already over a thousand chicks. Okay. And, and there's no credibility whatsoever for him having any skills or expertise in this field. Yeah. He's going to go and make full slander pieces on me a real expert. So, uh, that's, that's that. Um, that's what you need to look for. If the comp if a company is a real deal or not, let's see. Oh, that's another good one. Yeah. Good call. Um, photos with their nice picture, by the way. <laughs> uh, I banged a chick with that last name. I think her first name was Erica. Uh, how about photos with their actual girlfriend? It looks to work for you. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to make a video that shows all the nine plus girlfriends and main rotation girls I've had for over the past decade with lots of pictures and videos of all this shit. Um, yes, uh, he's the only channel I endorse playing with fire. And most guys that have gone through the, the gambit of all the different coaches arrive at the conclusion that just me and Alex have the most straightforward, practical stuff. I'm the only channel he recommends. He's the only channel I recommend. Does that mean we're the only two that know what we're doing? No. As I, as I said, there's other advanced guys that don't have a YouTube presence, that don't have a online presence. But out of those that do, I wouldn't recommend anyone else currently for teaching dating. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.